Alright guys, so we haven't done a DayZ video in a long time, or at least it feels like a long time. So, I decided I would start working on one. I got DayZ joined a random server, and I got what is probably my luckiest life ever. I have just spawned in, and just saw this helicopter. And, while looting this helicopter, I see this car coming, and decide to take shots at it. Of course, the gun is in full auto, so I'm only able to get one kill, but I will say it was a pretty clean kill if I do say so myself, and we'll pick things up from here because they only get more chaotic from here. So after chasing them for a bit, I assumed there was no way I was going to catch them. Obviously they are in a car, and I figured they had absolutely no reason to stop. And so I loot around a bit and continue down the road when I see their car pulled over and some human flesh on the side of the road. So that means that they gutted their dead friend and took his loot. And so I was wondering why they would have stopped, but of course I just wanted to get out of the middle of the road. So this next clip you see here, I'm in the woods and my game capture actually cut out as I saw somebody and killed them so my screen went black so it was kind of a crazy moment but I ended up seeing one of the other people in the car and so this is the second person and if you didn't notice there were four people in the car and that will come back up here in a minute and so I'm just sitting here looting this guy in peace and I happen to hear a gunshot go off relatively close to me and I'll let you guys see how that plays out And so not only am I lucky that I just so happened to come across the second person from this car, but I'm also lucky this dude happened to miss from this close. I mean, that was an incredibly easy kill. He should have killed me, but he didn't. I figured I would take him on, and then I started seeing all these tracer rounds coming downhill. So I just got out of there as fast as I could. As you saw, I take out the third guy, so now there is only one person left from that group in the car that I have to kill and you saw him take off uphill so we will resume a little bit further where I was tracking him down. So I was pretty positive that I killed that guy because I'm murking these dudes with the LAR and so I just go to confirm the kill and he is dead so that takes care of the four people in the car and that is by far the most people I have ever killed one in a row that were that highly geared but also just I've never really in a regular DayZ server come across that many people at once so that was just absolutely crazy for me but of course as you guys can probably guess from the video's runtime we're not done there so I go back to loot their bodies and like I said they had a car like you saw in the first clip so I'm searching for a spark plug on their bodies to get the car and get out of there and you'll see where it goes from there
Now I know my aim got a little bit rough there at the end, but at this point, within a 30 minute period, I had killed, you know, six people, so I was I was really pushing and I wasn't ready for more combat. As you could see, my guns weren't even loaded, my uh, health was not in great condition, and I heard more shots while in that gunfight. So I decided, you know what, six was enough, I'm getting out of here, but it just got even crazier from there. So I bandage and decide to just run uphill, run the opposite way. I've dropped six people, I've stole the spark plug to their car, you know, there's so many people, I don't know where these people are coming from, and there's still more coming. And of course, as soon as I cross this hill, there's this barn here that is a base. So, the first thing I think is that these people in the car were taking their car and some loot back to their base. One of them was killed, they called all their friends down to come into the town and check it out. And I might have just wiped an entire faction, so I decide I gotta get out of there in case there's more of them. Because they're gonna come back pissed off. And so, I go get out of there. And so at that point, I decided to switch servers, and I will be coming back there to maybe take down that faction entirely, or just see what's going on. But that will be a future video. So, switching gears on a different server up at Northwest Airfield. And we've seen a couple of ghillie suit people, heard a couple of shots, but we haven't really gotten into any combat yet. And so we're just stumbling around trying to find the people that we spotted. And we happen to come across a base that for some reason is completely unlocked. So we kind of scavenge through that. And we kind of dip our toes into being absolute scum here for a second. As a large amount of ammo and guns and resources that they had here... Oh we didn't particularly need, so we kind of just took what we what we needed and then took all the rest of the gear and dumped it in the woods. And so, you know, that's kind of what they get for making a base at Northwest Airfield and locking it down. But also, just leaving their base unlocked. I don't know why you would do this if this was the ghillie guys that had been running around killing people on the airfield. Then maybe they just felt so secure up here that they just leave their base open. But this shows that you got to keep your base locked at all times. And what makes this even better is they had a fully working car just sitting out again, not locked up, in the open. So we stole that too and decided to make it a little bit harder for them to get around, let's say. Why can't I pull out the spark plug? And so I did not record what came next, which was just the absolute mag dumping and fragging of that car. Because I didn't want to have our war crimes on tape, you know, so I had to conceal the evidence. But that's all I have for you guys today. We had a crazy six-person possible faction encounter slash wipe, which there will probably be more of in the future, and just a little tiny base raid or trolling, I guess you could say, on people that were locking down the Northwest Airfield. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment down below what your favorite part was, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.